Prince mom vehicle. All right. And, but you got a license. You just didn't yes, bring it with you. My Ava Stern. Okay. What was your first name? My Ava. <clears throat> that wood crackling over here. See, the good thing about, so by the way, the candle over here next to me, I'll pull it up for, you know what? I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do that later. M-Y-A-V-A. That's for the shirt. M-Y-A-V-A. Stern. S-T-E-R-N. Stern is the last name? Yes, ma'am. And do you have a middle name? Lakita. How do you spell that? L-A-T-K-A. And what's your date of birth? 5-16-88. And what's the address? I was born in Maryland, Florida. I live in Tampa. And you have a Florida driver's license or? It's, it's probably still Maryland. I don't, I'm just down here, you know, Christmas and everything just left. So. So, baby, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl, baby girl. You know damn where where your license is. You know damn where what state it is. You know damn well it says Maryland or it says Florida. You're nowhere on the planet. I would even start to believe you don't know where your license is currently. Everybody knows. I had to get my license changed over and I got to get it changed back. Sucks. But you know. Ain't no question. There ain't no point in my mind wherever I go. Ah, I think my thing may still say, uh, I'm from uh, New York. Is your license out of Maryland or out of It's Florida? out of Maryland. Maryland. Yes, okay. Maryland. And what's the address on your driver's license here? She said 212. I'm just kidding. So while we're sitting here in the silence, um, I hope everybody's having a beautiful day. You see her face over there? She's done. She's done. She's done. I have to give y'all three different angles, baby. She's done. Her head is hanging down. She knows it's over. It's over. But life has to go on. I'm going to watch a little bit more of this and we're going to skip to the middle. I'm trying to think of a lie. She knows she's done. What city? What pattern? Hold on a minute. Sorry, I feel sorry for the lady. Oh boy. What's going on? I'm calling my dad. Oh, uh, why is that? Because I'm going to jail, ma'am. Don't you get it? Hey, um, can you call my dad? I'm pulled over. I'm like right up the road from y'all, and I'm pulled over. I don't, I don't have a license, and I'm not from Florida, so I don't know. I mean, have you ever had a driver's license? Yes, ma'am. Okay. It, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. If you have 90 days to get your license trips moved over, and as long as it's not expired, you're good. Even if it's been over 90 days. I have my license over 90 days in another state. As long as it's not expired, I mean, it should be okay. And yeah. not going to kill you, because you could move back. You could be like, well, I'm actually going to move back home, so. You got a license well, don't, don't lie, people. Sorry. Just because you don't have it with you, it's not a big deal as long as you got a good license. It's a permit. Oh, it's so it's just like a learner's permit. But you at least have a She's license. I'm oh, sorry, guys. That's right. It's not like you don't have one. I can work with you with that. I'm sure. It's not. It's, it's not. I mean, you at least have a license. It's just saying you got to have like someone 21 with you, right? Is that what you're? Is that what you're trying to say? It's a learner's permit, or you just need someone 21? I can work with that. That's a big deal. She's not even responsive. To, uh, oh, Lord. It's right here. Lord, is that a, another police car pulling uh, up? <laughs> I know I'm getting too deep, man, but this is bringing back bad memories, man. When you see people, if you've ever been, if you've ever gone, ever got gone to jail and got those handcuffs on you, you know, when the second police vehicle pulls up, sometimes they do it for backup, but normally it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. I've had four cop cars pull me over. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Fire. Like one showed up, and then another showed up, and then another showed up, and then another showed up. They knew who Trey was. Can I have 1069 code two? Big dog. Big Dunzel. Shout out to the other Trey. Pulling up. Driver's license possibly does not have a good deal. All right, we're going to skip forward here and see what she starts doing um, when she starts getting caught up. 
reason. You haven't given me a right name. You don't have a license. Oh, oh, you... Getting juicy. I never. I don't get in trouble. Yeah. Very well. I just told her you on the side of the road of twenty six. Ah, uh, y'all heard that? That's the dispatcher, by the way, talking. I work with dispatchers, but um, uh, still saying there's no name like that. That's what they were saying. She said I was, if somebody has rapid I was, ID to come up here. Like, break. I don't even remember hitting breaks or anything, but. Checking the license plate, self like. All right. That's really when cops pull you over. The second they get out, they go, Charlie, um, can you write a license plate for me? Yeah, Charlie, hero. Oh, man, oh, man, that's not hero. It's been a while since I was on the phone to the cop a bit. Uh, is, it, is it Hector? I think it's Hector. Charlie, Echo, Hector, one, two, five. Yeah, that vehicle doesn't come up. Can you get off the phone so we can have a conversation real quick? Or you can put them on hold, something so me and you can talk? Can you quit flashing a light in my body, I'm in my face? You? Okay. Can you either put them on hold or something where me and you can have a conversation? Okay, can you turn off the car for a second for me? Done. All right. So I'm well, actually, that's safety. To provide right, you every opportunity to, to be honest with me, all right? Honesty goes a long ways, and it it doesn't make little things into big things when people start lying it makes little things into big things mm -hmm. and i don't want to see that happen here all right with the information you provided me you said you had a learner's permit there's nothing coming back it's probably not. okay so why is that there's a reason you haven't given me a right name you don't have a license i did give you my name i okay. gave you my birthday i gave you my address okay so why is it come back with the learner's permit okay you just don't have a license period Okay, I can work with that. I can work with that. It's just when you lie, it seems like there's a lot worse things going on. You don't have, you've never had one? Okay, and how old are you? 23. Okay. Put the, put the camera on me. Put, put the camera just on me. One thing I do not like, one thing I cannot stand, is when liars cry. When doves cry. Shout out to Evan Samuels. When liars cry, it's disgusting. Because you're using your tears to manipulate somebody. I understand being scared, young lady. I understand what it feels like to get ready to go to the jail and get ready to eat them biscuits and gravy in them. And then you know somebody's going to walk up to you and say, do you want that? Well, you're, you're in a woman's prison, so do you want that? The voice doesn't change. You're going to get Big Bessie walking up to you. She's going to ask for them biscuits, the biscuits and gravy. And you know what you're going to tell Bessie? No, I'm not hungry. Because if you give me any other answer, well, just say your biscuits are going to be gravy. I get the fear. I get the People fear. People do out here than drive without a license. You know what I mean? I, I deal with way worse than that. All right. And I can work with you as long as you're honest with me. But when you start lying, then it makes... See, that's the one thing I would have a problem with, with being a cop is that writing. I hate writing so bad. Makes things like little issues Don't judge like me. this turn into big ones. So the information you gave me is correct yes, with your information. You just don't have... Does he have a license? Yes, he has a license. Okay. Can he come back? Is it the guy in the charger? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can he come back? He can't tell. He said the tire. Is that what you were coming down here for? Yes, my yeah. babies are in the car. I was because they it's a school night. Okay. And they live here. All right, we're gonna move it for a little bit here. Yes. Okay. The thing is, if you don't have a license, I can't let you drive, right? So, okay. you know, I don't want you sitting here on the side of the road, like, in the middle of nowhere. Can I get out? Yeah, he has a valid license. When he has a valid license, he can, at the most, we can just leave the car parked here on the side of the road, and he can pick you up. Damn, I think she's giving you a way out, baby girl. I think she's saying, look, <laughs> see, here's, it's going to go one way, one or two ways. Okay. 
either I can press you and see what really going on, and now it's going to go bad, or you call that man to come back and get you. We all have a nice night. I get to go home to my man. You get to go home to your man. I get to go home to spaghetti and garlic bread. You get to go home to whatever your man cooks. What his cook? Whatever you going to cook tonight. Okay? But you won't be having biscuits and gravy in the morning. Would you rather do that or have biscuits and gravy in the morning? Call that man to come back. Because if I press you and I find out you're lying, guess what? Your biscuits. I already made that joke. Am I allowed to get out? We'll just, we'll, just you know, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. I mean, that's what I want to happen. All right. I just got to say, some cops want to push you. Some cops want to. Here's your ticket. Or we got another one, boys. Lock them up. And they got some cops who are like, I do not feel like writing a report. I want to go home. I do not want to be out here all night. I love my job. But this shit ain't worth it. Tonight, I'm trying to be out. I'm going to try to go out with my girls. We trying to turn up. Or like, I'm going home to my man. I'm just trying to get in the shower, get cleaned up, cuddle up with my man. Or I'm going home to my dog. I'm going to eat some ice cream. I'm going go to bed. Not all cops are trying to be out all night. Check a few things and just make sure. Um, and then Florida, uh, boy, it's humid as hell. She probably sweating in that uniform thing is okay like the information you gave me and all that is correct and as long as that's correct then yes that's what i want to happen that's what's going like that's my choice to happen i, I don't want to arrest you for this i could but i don't want to see as long as you've been honest you you yeah me to be honest yeah you I, said you had a permit I mean, I did say I had a, but... yeah so as long as you're giving me the correct information about who you are and it's just you don't have a license i got bigger things going on tonight than you driving without a license all right could you <laughs> what did I just say? I told you she's not trying to be there. Even I even know some cops just say that and t uh, tongue in cheek, being like, "I don't want to be here. Just tell me the truth so I can get up out of here." I think there was some truth to that. She's really like, "I really don't want to be out here, lady. It's hot as hell. We in Florida. It's humid. I'm trying to go home, baby girl. I've been a cop for five years now. It was fun at first, but now it's a job. I get paid my little bitty." 40000 a year, and I'm trying to make ends meet. And you out here wasting my time when I could be back at the shop eating donuts and drinking monsters. You go to jail for it? Yeah, you could. Am I going to take you? No, as long as you've been honest from here on out about everything that happened, okay? So That's how they bait you. All right, let's move forward a little bit. Pardon me, the sheriff's office. Since we can't find any positive identification on you, we're going to have to spit your fingerprints. I can run to the system to make a pull from Oh, me. damn. I ain't never had a cop do me like that. Of course, I never lied. But I'll to verify who you are. All right, so like when you're I didn't, know, I didn't know those existed. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Why it, all of this? I didn't know. Was, can you, oh, what, what is oh, all of this here, for? You're driving motor vehicle in the state of Florida. Why? Okay. okay, but why is all of this necessary? I have three cars behind me. Okay, because okay, they don't have the technology that I have. Okay, so you are driving in the state of Florida. You have been pulled over. You are required to show some proof of identification. The name you're providing, we're not able to find anything in the state of Florida. This cop is standing on this side of the street? Hell no. No way. Sorry, guys. I'm, going, I, I'm looking at the side. I, I feel bad for the lady. I'm not trying to dig into her. I already know how this goes. Yeah. So let's just say your name is... My name is John Smith, and I run my fingerprints through here. If John Smith's in the system, they would verify that. That's what I'm asking you to do. You go and do it. So where is your driver's license and learn's permit out of? What state? Yeah. I don't know what's going on, but they have... This girl then got back on the phone. Oh, God. Help the baby girl. Please help the Lord. Not God help her. I just find that very disrespectful. I find that disrespectful that these men and women are trying to help you get out of this damn situation. You keep hopping back on this damn phone like it matters. Why, young lady? Stop hopping back on this phone. And you and you had the opportunity to have him come back, come scoop you up, y'all going about y'all day. But now you want to keep arguing, you want to keep saying oh, this and that, and I'm just trying to get to my kids, and you're dying. And you have the nerve to hop back on the phone. These, these people are being patient, because I'll be like, listen here, little lady. 
You got one more time to hop back on this phone. I'm going to rip you out of this vehicle, rip the seatbelt off, and it's going to go bad from now. Okay. See, I, I wouldn't be a good cop. I'd be the one, as soon as you got back on that phone, get out of the vehicle now! And then I'd be on World's Hip Hop. I'd be on the Hodge Twins channel. Okay? I'd be all over the news saying our cops going overboard. And I'm going to get right in front of that. Well, they're not going to put me up there, but I'm going to get right on my Twitter and be like, I love this country. I refuse to be disrespected. Love me or hate me. Trump 2024. And that's how I'm going to go out in a blaze of glory as my entire career is ended. Like three cop cars behind me. I'm just letting you know. And he, he wanted me to hang up the phone, so I got to hang you up. You don't have to hang up. You can keep talking. I'm just, I'm just asking you a question. What stage is See, he's being nice. Never mind. He's cool. Or a learner's permit or whatever. Such as never had a license. Never had a license. So you don't have any form of identification on you? Nothing like that? Girl, I just don't take, nothing uh, on just take your poison. Just help us confirm that you're not, not saying you give a false name. This helps confirm that you're not giving a false Sorry, name. Sorry, my thing's not coming up. Say who you are. So we're requesting would you... Want to spit your fingerprints so we can just resolve this problem. And the if old I way. refuse, I'm still going to go to jail, correct? I don't know yet because we're, not to we're trying not to take you to jail. I'm trying to help identify you to prove, like you're saying, okay, if your name if is. If I refuse to give you my fingerprints, oh, then what? I'm not answering that yet because she is still digging through trying to find out who you are. This just speeds the process up and helps. Okay, why can't we just wait till she finds who I am? Find okay. out, finds out who I am. Right, so, what state, where are you from? What state are you from? Like, we got. All right, guys, we're going to go get to the most replay. We already know how I mean, to do it. If you don't want to provide your fingerprints, I can help speed this process. I'm trying to identify you. Okay. I have a child support rig. Thank you. What is your name? Where, Shamaya Jones. Where is it out of? 1991. Where is it out of? It's, it should be Putnam County. Okay. It's a $400 right. rig. Thank yes, you. I know that Debbie Cravat. What That's what she's worried about? The child support? Baby girl, you're not going to be in jail that long for $400. I mean, good boy saved me, but when I was behind on bars, I met a lot of men who had child support issues. Sometimes they get you for a while, but $400, yeah. Give you? M-Y-A-D-A? No, she's just telling me she had a wire put in the for child support. That's why she's not giving the right name. But I just didn't want to look at it. Well, want to get out. I know we're going to go. Home. There it is. Yeah. yeah. You know what? We don't even see any more people. Y'all go watch the rest of the video if you want to go see it. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be that. But I'm gonna say this right here. That point right there. I remember just. I remember being that same way. Just go ahead. Just, just do what the fuck you gotta do. I. I, 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 I already know I'm going to jail. Just. What I would have already done is say, "Come back, hey yo, I'm going to jail. Please come get my car. Lord, please come get my car." Because if they impound this bad boy, <laughs> Trey can't get it back out. Of course. Not giving it right now. Right. I just didn't want to go okay. to jail. Well, I'm going to get out. I know. We're going to go. Under your seatbelt. I just step out and keep your hands right All right. Just keep your hands right All right. So we know how that is. Y'all want to go see how it ends. Y'all can go watch it. This video is from a year ago. Anyway, shout out to Police Plug for always providing us great content. Every time I try to put it back on myself, Lesson of the day. Just give up in the beginning. You're going to jail. I wouldn't prolong it. I'm not going to lie about my name. My first call would be before, as soon as I got pulled over. I got right on that phone. But hey, Jay. Dog, they're pulling me over here. I'm over here on 25th and uh, uh 25th and Cedar Avenue. Uh, You know, right, yeah, right over there by that strip club. Come on through. Come pick up my car. Please, God, come pick up my car. Grab your girl. Y'all come pick up my vehicle. They got me. Uh, I got the money. Bail me out in the mall. And that's what always happened for me. A couple of times I got my car impounded. That's why I don't know. I'm so glad that, that won't happen to me again. I got good friends. I'm married. My car is getting picked up. I go to jail. My car is getting picked up. Somebody coming to get that bitch. And I'm not going down like that no more. Back then I was alone. Nobody beside me. I'm all alone. Tell the truth. Get out there. But yeah, to be to be 
to take it back seriously, guys. I've been through this situation. It's a tough one. I know she was scared to tell the information. I know she knew she was going to jail. I told you that. I told you that in the very beginning of the video. The only reason anybody would ever lie about who they are, they, she knows she's going to prison that night. I mean, not prison. She's going to jail. It's not that bad, guys. I know some jails are worse than others. Some jails, I've been in a jail where they had no running water. I was in a jail with a toilet, a bed, and a floor. No running water. I couldn't shower. It was probably the worst few days of my life. And I didn't, you couldn't tell what time it is. I hate sometimes how these jails treat motherfuckers. They they put you in there with no 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 window, no running water, and a bed that's hard as hell. I get you're trying to prevent people from wanting to go there, but damn, sometimes people fall on hard times and y'all be throwing people in jail trying to make them like animals. To not give me a shower for four days and I can't see the sunlight. You know what they were feeding me? Now I'm a fat boy. I get it. I, I was going to survive. They were feeding me dinners, 700 calorie dinners. I think I got one in the, at lunch and at night, but I was getting a TV dinner, steak and mashed potatoes. And that was supposed to last you, boy. And I, I couldn't even wash my damn hands. It was filthy. My back, I was in the worst pain I've ever been in my life. One of the worst pains I've ever been in my life. Because imagine trying, imagine you can't sit down on the ground because it's hard. Your bed is hard. You can't you can't just lay down all day. Your back is killing you. The toilet is made out of metal, so it's hurting your back. It's hurting your butt cheeks. It's just in a terrible situation. And not only that, you can't even wash your ass. So you in there smelling like booty, hot breath, similac. I'm just kidding. I don't know why you smell like that, but nonetheless. Anyway, guys, I'm out of here. Let me know what y'all think about this video. Peace.